Happy New Year, Cyber Friends. This is Janice. I'm going to show you today how to make a bowl with a decorated outer surface. This was a request from one of my watchers, and I hope this suits your needs. Let's go ahead and start making the bowl now. Okay, for our bowl, we're going to use two pounds of white stoneware clay. They got dry on me. There we go. I'm gonna make this a fairly upright bowl, kind of wedge shaped, so that the outside of the bowl will be very visible when you're looking at it. Sometimes all you see is the inside of the bowl, but since we're gonna decorate this guy, I want to see the outside. I'm going to leave the bottom fairly thick. Because I want to trim a nice foot on there. So, right now it's a little thicker than it needs to be. Probably ultimately want to end up with about a half inch down there. But as I work, I'll end up pressing in a little bit. The thing with bowls, if you're going to pull it vertical and then flare it out, you want to leave your rim thick enough so it doesn't get too thin when you flare it. And also, Leave enough clay at the base to support the weight at the top. You always want to have a really nice smooth continuous curve on the inside. Don't want to have any sudden change of direction on that curve. Okay, let's get the water out of the inside. And I'll smooth out the outside with the Cheryl rib. bit of shaping here. Okay, I want it to get too flared out, so I'm not going to push it out any farther from the inside. I am going to go ahead and Clear off some clay there to make it easier for me to run the wire under. I'm going to use this little fired clay tool that I made to put a little line here. It'll delineate how far up our decoration goes. Let me decorate the outside. Just take one minute to smooth the inside a bit. I'm 
really trying not to flare it out too much at this point. And I'm going to put a little swirl on the inside on the bottom. Okie dokie, here's our bowl from yesterday. It's time to trim it. It's a little bit on the wet side, I think, for trimming, but I don't have all day and I need to get this done, so I'm going to go ahead and trim it. Uh, first thing I want to do is decide before I flip it over the contours that I'm going to trim into it. I do that by looking at the inside of the bowl and the outside of the bowl. So I have a mirror right over there across from my wheel, so I can see the outside while I'm looking at the inside. So I just want to taper it in a little bit more down in this area and I don't want to put too deep of a foot on. So I'll make it a narrow footed bowl with a moderately deep foot. My Giffen grip makes it really quick and easy to center pots for trimming, assuming that your pot is round to begin with. trim at a fairly quick speed when I can. The first thing I do is set the outer diameter of the foot. So I'm just going to bring this in. That'll about do it. Just a little bit on the wet side for trimming. So these little ribbons are a bit sticky. that make it to the floor before I can pick them up. She hasn't noticed yet. Typically it doesn't cause any problems. I gotta scrap up my sleeve. It's awesome. <laughs> but if she eats too much, it can lead to some unfun times later on. Once I get to setting my foot ring, I'll create an outer band first so that I don't overshoot if I come from the center out. It's really easy to come out too far. So I will go ahead and set that outer band and then work in. decided I don't have super deep thickness to work with, so I'm just going to narrow this foot ring a little more. Mm -hmm. I like to round it off. 
like any hard edges. Scratch tables, scratch countertops, things like that if you leave hard edges on the bottom when you trim. Not cool. Don't do it. You're better than that. Pretty well set the way I want it. Time to smooth out any little lines that I left in the trimming process. If you want to, you can come in and kind of burnish it a bit with your shell rib. The bowl is trimmed. Okay, let's take a look. Time for the reveal. There's our nice trimmed bowl. 